Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and uh, once again, I am joined with Philip. <laughs> sub beast mode, sub Goliath. Oh, your thing does, is a GIF? I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, whenever uh, I talk, Kana, Arima Kana from Oshinoko talks too. Yeah. So it, she, she, she's quite literally me, you know? Whenever I like do a loud burp, whenever I'm drinking and beasting at the same time, She's also burping. Nice. I like how we have like opposites. So <laughs> you're a guy with like a female icon, and then I'm I'm like agendered with like a male icon. <laughs> Prepare for it to stay that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so uh, we read the Biyaki Togami one, and we're like, there's more uh, Danganronpa boys for us to to read. But uh, which one should we read next? And uh, we found one in the form of a Mondo Awada X Reader. <laughs> because why not go for the Walking JoJo reference? Yeah, I fucking love JoJo Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> and I love Danganronpa, so might as well put the two together. <laughs> exactly. Why not? God, we're. He's, I, I was, he's a funny. He's a funny little guy. Yeah, I was at GalaxyCon, and uh, I guess a new anime came out. I, f I don't remember the exact name of it, but they wear similar coats to what Mondo Awada wears, so I thought there was a lot of Mondo Awada cosplayers. No, they're just, like, from this other, like, anime that just happens to be about, like, a biker gang thing. <laughs> I would have wanted to cry. Yeah, I, I think I didn't go up to one and be like, dude, I love your Mondo Awada cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> He, yeah. He's 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 got the funny hair, so I'm pretty sure you would have realized, like, in the moment that he wasn't, and then you'd be like, oh. Yeah, well, I know some My people bad. do the blonde hair a little bit down instead of making the hairdo, so. <laughs> Needless to say, I was like, oh, shit, there, no one likes Mondo Awada like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I used to, uh, I used to take my hair, so I've got rather long hair right now, I just, like, Kind of like curl it up in the front. I used to do that because I and I would be like, "Yo, I'm I'm Mondo Awada because it it, it was it, it, it's basically it's basically him except it doesn't like really stand very well. I'd have to put a shit ton of hairspray in it or gel to make it work." Yeah, he probably has <laughs> so much hair damage. <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't even imagine. Yeah, he's gonna go he's gonna go bald at thirty. Yeah. <laughs> so this is labeled complete. There's only seven parts, and it's estimated to be a 36 minute reading time, so we don't expect this to be long, but it's a, it's a, it's a one go, you know? If it's yeah, great, why not? then it's great. If it's bad, that means we don't have to come back to it. <laughs> exactly, just, just step on the gas, keep going, yep. and find out if, uh, find out what crazy thing happens to the ultimate sweet tooth in yeah. this. Wait, is this it the ultimate sweet tooth? Yep. Damn, this. okay. Daring, daring fanfic of a girl and her biker. Yeah. Alright, so the description reads, Hey, so I'm back at it again with another story. Uh, Mondo is the best V1 boy and I love him so much. He can run me over with his bike and I thank him. Okay, bye. <laughs> I do agree with the statement. I, I think, I think, uh, I think he's probably top three. I wouldn't say best, but I think he's probably up there. Like in, in Dangarampa, like the first one, probably up. He's probably up in top three. I'd say so. Yeah. I'd say so. I mean, yeah. there, there's some tough competition. Biaki is there, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Chihiro. Oh, uh, Hifumi Yamada. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah. Never mind. I, I I take it all back. This this that guy. That guy. He knows. He knows something that we don't. Hifumi, you no gross. <laughs> nah, 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 bro. We 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 love the uh, we love the otaku representation. Oh my god, can't, can't believe I said that. Yeah, I don't know if we want that kind of representation. <laughs> so true. So true. So I don't know if it's Y N or F N on here. So what stupid name are we gonna give the ultimate sweet tooth? Name. Yeah. Holy shit! There's 900 comments on this fucking chapter. <laughs> Over 900. Yeah. And all, all right. 
126 of them are on the fucking... Yeah, so you're the ultimate sweet tooth. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I noticed there was a jarring amount, a jarring uh, amount as, as compared to the four that say for uh, the spoilers. You yeah. would think... What are we going to shit ourselves about? The spoilers that we all know Danganronpa fans have not played the games and... The ultimate sweet tooth, of course. Of course, it's the the, for, the former. Yeah. <laughs> and I said former and first at the same time came out as forced. Uh, I think we'll go with. Uh, we'll go with. How does Phil Stavius sound? Huh, Phil the, Stavius. Phil Stavius? You're gonna make horrible names that I need to pronounce all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how the fuck you spell this for the for it? Let's see, uh, we'll go... Or, do you think it'd be better if you just... Quickly... I, I typed it out, yeah. I typed it out. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Come up with stupidly weird names and we're like, Formal name? It's pretty hard to remember. Philostagius? Phil Stavius. Phil Stavius, okay. My god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, alright. Well, that's that's settled. I don't know if what else will come up, we'll fill it in as we go, but alrighty, let me find something to flip. Um, I don't know why the first thing I, I sh my eyes went to was the drink that I was- <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a, like a USB flash drive. So do you want to be the side that says Lexer or the side that has a bunch of like that says eight gigabytes? I'm the eight gigabytes. I'm, I'm eight gigabytes full of sound bites from Tony Blair, right. former prime minister. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, I get to read first. All right. All righty. <sighs> All right, so you're the ultimate sweet tooth. There's gonna be some spoilers, but I'll change it. But I'll change it from Chihiro's death. Okay. Alrighty. Last thing I can remember before blacking out was walking through the gates of Host Beak Academy. I woke to find myself asleep on a wooden chair. Not the most comfortable of positions, but that was the least of my problems. I groaned and stood up. I saw an, a note left on the table beside me, reading. Me in the gym at eight, eight, just eight o'clock sharp. I looked up towards the clock and saw that it was eight, eight o'clock. Shit, I must, I, I must be late for the opening ceremony. I rummaged through my pocket and my fingers latched on a bubblegum lollipop. I unwrapped it and tossed the wrapper on the ground carelessly. I reached up and placed it in my mouth and decided to make my way over to the gym, where, where I woke up was reasonably close to so I found it in a few minutes. I found a grand doorway. I could hear voices coming from inside, so I decided it was probably the gym. I pushed open the door, which made a loud bang, alerting everyone of my presence. <laughs> What's up, everyone? <laughs> I was in the middle of my <laughs> greeting when I was cut off by a loud voice. You are 15 minutes late. The note said 8 a.m. sharp. This is a violation of... I walked over to him and placed a, <laughs> placed a strawberry bonbon in his mouth to shut him up, leaving him surprised. <laughs> Choo! Sorry I'm late. I'm... Phil Stavius- oh shit, what's- what There's a last what's name? Last name. <gasps> Come with one on Don't make spot. something stupid. Let me- last name. <laughs> Obamna. Huh? Phil Stavius Obama. Obama? <laughs> Obama. Obama. Nah. So Obama o with an N. So O B A N A. <laughs> yeah. Obama. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I'm Phil Stavius Obama. <laughs> Ultimate Sweet Tooth, nice to meet you. I smiled and everyone came to greet me. All but two people. I began to walk up to him where he placed his... When he put his hand out to stop me. Please do not come any closer, you plebeian. I don't want a stench of your presence to loiter around me. Is this Biakia? 
I, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a Biaki thing to it, say. It, it, it does. I mean, look, 85 comments, it's gotta be in. Yeah, I don't wanna look uh, weak, fuck you pussy, mood, beat his ass into the solar system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I wish they put the names of the, like, it, who's speaking. <laughs> it, it, I, I guess we'll get to those soon enough. Yeah. But, uh, it, yeah. He scolded me sternly. I was never good at taking insults, so I felt tears building up in my eyes. I turned away from him and crouched, hugging my leg. Damn. <laughs> We're a bitch! <laughs> We're an absolute pussy! <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. I stuttered, biting my lip not to cry. Then I heard someone walking towards us. I looked up and saw a guy with a with the cutest looking pomad the pomodor? Pompadour. Pompadour. Pompadour I've ever seen. I smiled at myself when I heard what he said. Boy, you little bastard. You think it's alright to push a girl down like that? You just met- When you just met, you're asking me to beat you into a pen. Uh, uh, <laughs> you should be a pulp. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't write this. <laughs> I, I didn't either. Um, I, I, I just work here. I, just yeah, work I was about here. to say, like, I'm just working my job right now. <laughs> He groaned and I heard him crack his knuckles. All he got at in, a, in retaliation was a... And he, yeah. and he just walked to the other side of the hall. The name is Mondo. Don't listen to that asshole. He probably just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. He reached... He, he reached a hand out to me and I took it and stood up. Now I was seeing that there was a pretty obscene height difference between the two of us. <laughs> he seemed to tower over me. What are we, fucking Shihiro height? <laughs> Well, let's go. I mean, what? We're like 4'11". <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. How tall is Mondo Awada? I know Arima Kana is 4'11", and I am 6'2". Damn. And I'm literally her, so uh, what does that tell you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm really sensitive when I, when I get upset easily. It, it's nothing. I sniffled. Well, if, it's any, if, if anyone says anything to you, you know, who, you know who to send them to. He flashed me a grin and pointed to himself. I gave it as, as comment, nearly spitting out my lollipop in the process, but I kept <laughs> a, gri a grip on it. I fiddled with the strand of my hair, twirling it in my fingers. I asked him in a sweet, the sweetest voice possible. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I don't want to- Who the fuck asked this to, to, to someone that just met? <laughs> <laughs> Can I touch your pomodor? I think I looked up at him with my puppy dog <laughs> eyes and he sighed. Fine. I heard him mumble as I celebrated to myself. I got up onto my tippy toes and tried to reach it, but I couldn't. I frowned because it was just looked so fluffy. I wanted to see what it felt like. Probably fucking hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> Like you touch it and you see our crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a pair of hands grip my wait, grip my waist and hoist me up. I let out a small squeaking sound and blushed a, a light shade of pink. I reached up, I reached up my index finger. I pointed at the tip of his pomodor. Oh fuck, that sounds wrong. <laughs> no wonder why there's 132 comments on this. <laughs> Saw that one coming. Yeah. It's so poofy, I explained in happiness as he put me down. Wouldn't it just been easier if he just, like, kneeled down to her height? <laughs> just it, saying. It, we need to force the plot upon these people. Yeah, we need to force the romance. <laughs> exactly. Let him touch her! Get, get, him to, get him to carry her! In the first chapter! I was about to thank him, and then it happened. The moments our lives changed forever. Time skip af till after Monokuma explained everything and after Mondo nearly gets exploded. <laughs> How do we miss that part? I feel like that's cool to write in. Exactly. After I heard what Monokuma had to say, I felt my lollipop slip out of my mouth, thudding on the floor, erupting in weary silence which coated the room. I felt my body trembling and my breath hitched as I felt hot tears dripping down my face. I felt a hand rest itself on my shoulder. You okay, kid? I heard his voice trying to comfort me. I- what the fuck does that say? Swiveled? Swiveled. Yeah, I swiveled around in- 
En envelope. Wait. <laughs> this envelope. Okay, I thought that said envelope. <laughs> I, I, I'm the, I'm the future English major, perhaps. Thank you. So <laughs> I got you. Enveloped him with a rough hug. I I'm scared. I managed to whisper through my tears. It's gonna be all right. Won't let you get hurt. He sued me as he patted my head. I snuggled. Man, this is this is so fast paced. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the opposite of a slow burner. This is a fast cooker. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Love at first sight. What can I say? Yeah, I guess. Thank you, Mondo. I, tra I trailed off as I broke the hug and reached into my pocket. I found a cherry flavored lollipop and handed it to him. My favorite. Is it? Do you like cherry? I love cherry. I'd be drinking cherry Coke and cherry Coke, Pepsi. A cherry and Mountain Dew Code Red are all on tap at the uh, at the gas station I work at, and let's just say that I am not recovering from it. I have not recovered from it. Nice. I have such easy access to cherry flavored soda, and <laughs> it's killing me. I found a cherry flavored lollipop and handed it to him. As I blushed, I covered my face with a long pink sleeve on my long pink hoodie. After a while, we decided to we decided a rule that no one was to go out at night, which of course I wasn't going to follow because when I am stressed, I like to go on walks while stuffing my face with candy. It's strangely relaxing. Everyone decided to to go looking for ways to get out or something. I just I just went with Mondo, who decided to join up with Sakura because they were the strongest. And, but, wait, and and out of all of us, they would be able to break through the barrier. I just stood there shouting encouragement at them, but whatever they tried, it didn't seem to work. I guess we're really stuck in here then. I sighed as we went back to regroup with the others and tell them the bad news. It was getting late, so everyone went back to their rooms. I was still in the kitchen, though, looking through the cupboards for any sweet treats. I opened one of the doors, my eyes lit up. Jackpot. I saw every type of candy I could imagine in there. I thanked Monokuma <laughs> in my head and stuffed my pockets to the brim, and the occasional stuffing some into my mouth. After raining the kitchen, the nighttime announcement went off, and I decided to hurry back to my room when I bumped into Mondo. Uh, hey, Mondo! I waved at him as I passed by. Yo, Festavius. He grabbed my wrist to stop me. I looked at him in confusion. Promise me you won't go out at night and get yourself hurt. He told me, his voice was turning serious. I giggled. <laughs> I'll try. Gets killed the next day. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I grabbed the candy cane from my pockets from a, <laughs> my pastel blue jeans and jumped up to bop his on the door with it. <laughs> I left him perplexed as I walked into my room and jumped on my bed, ready for my sleepless night to begin. I wow, she's an interesting one. Yeah, decent chapter. I wonder how many fucking cavities she has. <laughs> with how many <laughs> she eats. <laughs> Shitting bricks, what the fuck is wrong with yeah. Phil Stavia, right? Uh, there's nothing wrong with her. She is perfect. She's even got pastel blue jeans. Yeah, pastel and blue I'm, jeans, pink hoodie, yeah, it, it, short. I, <laughs> it's so real, it's so real. Yeah. And I, I just want to ask before we move on to chapter two here, uh, do you, do you do you want to keep reading like I guess like the uh, the non dialogue bits because I, I I noticed that it's mostly from the perspective of the YN and yeah I don't mind doing that I, okay okay I, I it, it does kind of feel it does kind of feel mean to bully I'll, I'll to put push most of the reading onto you but I'll, I guess I'll just stick to doing the uh, doing the male character voices yeah. I mean, you can do the other characters as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I need to get my reading skill up anyway, so maybe this will be, <laughs> be the reason why I'm better at reading. Hey, who knew? Who knows? It, it's it's a, it's a practice. It's a practice. Yeah. We can do we can do we can do the swapping uh, next time. I'll try and find. I'll, I'll try and prepare better for next time. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> after 20 minutes, after bumping into Mondo, I found myself not in my room. It was clear that I w wouldn't be able to sleep for the start. I wouldn't even shut my eyes without fear taking over me. I was holding a pack of gummy bears as I walked as quietly as I could down the corridor, trying not to wake anyone. 
I, <laughs> for some reason, I'm not picturing like the normal gummy bears. I'm picturing the fucking sugar-free gummy bears, which makes you like shit your pants. <laughs> Please I did not know me. about those. Oh I, my god. I, that, that is going to be homework. That is going to be my homework. Like Find out about these gummy bears that give you severe, severe uh, in, incontinence. Yeah, it, if it's, that's the word. It's the it's the Haribo brand, and they made like a sugar free gummy bears. And like, if you look at the reviews, it's like it's just people saying like like how much like how much their tummy hurt and how much shit they had to deal with. After Lord. Eating. Yeah. Poor I bastards. I don't think the reviews are up. You had to like look up Haribo gummy bear reviews and then search images, but you'll you'll get them. <laughs> I'm thinking of the uh, the gummy bear song guy. Oh, I remember that song. Yeah, really <laughs> ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I was chewing Where? anxiously, which was louder than normal, which didn't ex exactly help me. I went to the dining hall and pushed two chairs together so I can lay down on them. I placed the gummies on the table so I can still reach them, of course, and reach my hand up to nothing in particular. I stared up at the dull ceiling inside. I guess we really, guess we really will have to live our lives like cage animals. It's no different from my regular life, if I'm honest. So after calling myself, I'm pretty much okay with it. I mean, no one in here is gonna actually be driven to kill, right? Oh, right. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't do it to the, in the outside world, then why would you do it in here? It kind of scares me that it, I could just die off without m a moment's notice. But well, that does give reason to live in the moment, doesn't it? It could be your last day, so live it with a smile. Very true. Uh, I I just like to like to mention that if you kill and you don't get caught. You go free. Yeah. And, 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 and that is the reason. That is the reason. But there, there is incentive. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I heard a creaking noise, so instinctively I jolt up. My eyes darted around the room to see if anyone was there. I must have been my imagination, though, because no one was actually there. I saw the gummies were finished, so I threw the pack into the nearest trash can and found a lollipop in my pocket. Girl, do you ever brush your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> it was apple. I favorite. hope so. Not my favorite, but it'll do. I unwrapped it and placed it, placed it back in my mouth as I laid back down, and my thoughts drifted over to him. Mondo Awada. I muttered to myself. <laughs> His name rings bells in my head, but no matter how hard I tried to think about it, about how I know him, I just couldn't seem to find it. It's confusing me. It, oh, it's confusing me. Why couldn't I remember him? Maybe if I got to know him more, my memories will drift back into my mind. I mean, yeah, it sounds stupid, but <laughs> it would be stupid enough to work. I giggled to myself, but someone's voice. But I heard someone's voice, so I stiffened up until I heard whose voice it was. I thought I told you to s to not leave your room, you idiot. I saw his pomodoro cast a shadow across my face as he stood in front of me. But I couldn't sleep. I whined as I stood up. You too? I held my hand over my mouth, trying not to laugh. I, I never thought a, a biker gang leader would be s get scared so easily, I squeaked <laughs> as I prepared myself for him to get angry at my comment. But to my surprise, he was actually pretty calm about it. Well, who wouldn't be scared in the situation? He trailed off. <laughs> Good point. I looked, I looked down, and he would probably sensed my distress when he asked me. So, do you uh, want to come to my room? I mean, since neither of us can sleep, it would probably be good to talk or something. If we do fall asleep, can't exactly get killed for not being in my dorm, in the dorms. Damn, we're moving fast. This is oh. chapter two, my guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Rizzler out of here, yeah. Mondo Awada. I mean, who, who saw it coming? Who could see it coming? I did. <laughs> <laughs> With how short this was, this book is, it has to move fast. That's what he's doing. He's 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 a uh, he's rolling. Yeah. I smiled and took the lollipop out of my mouth. I'd love to. And with that, we took off and went to his room. His room was very different interior to mine. Mine was full of bright colors and candy and stuff. 
while his was very dark and well, bikery. Which is fitting, I guess. I fell face first on his bed, but it wasn't exactly as bouncy as mine, so it hurt more than I expected. <laughs> I, it's like a stiff ass mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Damn prison prison mattress. Yeah, yeah, it's like a prison mattress. That's what you use for sleeping on. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like, so she hits her face on it. She's like, oh, fuck, what the fuck is this mattress made of? She, like, pulls the cover off, and it's just, like, planks of wood. <laughs> <laughs> on a concrete slab. Yeah. <laughs> Mondo sat himself next to me, and we spent most of the night slash morning chatting about stuff, when I finally decided to ask him the thing that has been on my mind for quite a while now. Hey, Mondo. Sex. No. <laughs> <laughs> not that fast, not that fast. Yeah. Hey Mondo, do you feel like you can remember something that you can't remember? You ask, turning yourself over so you can look at him. He smiled at himself. I'm not sure what it was about, but it was cute. In a way, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just I'm not sure if what I'm trying to remember is real or not. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to say, so we both laid slash sat there in complete silence. What happens if one of us gets killed, Mondo? I asked out of the blue, trying to avoid eye contact with him. It, we know what happens! Monokuma told us! I can't answer that, because I know it ain't gonna happen. I can protect myself, as long as I can do that, and I'll be able to protect you too. I could tell that he was being honest, and I smiled as I closed my eyes. I let myself drift off. At peace with myself, now that I know I had him there with me. As I felt myself being picked up, I wasn't sure where I was being taken though, because I was too busy being lost in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> the morning. The morning. <laughs> when I woke, I found myself inside my room. The morning announcement had gone off, and I stretched my arms and found myself something covering my body. Oh god. <laughs> <I'm> scared. <laughs> I looked down and, re and it revealed itself to be Mondo's overcoat. Man, he just gives that shit out for free? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> Please. It helped me for the uh, cosplay. Yeah. I picked it up and hugged it tightly. We may have just met, but I already love him. How childish. But I, <laughs> but I mean, who knows how long we'll be in here. This game can't stop me from having fun. Oh my gosh, she, we are going to do the dirty, aren't we? Uh -oh. It's only the second day in the second <laughs> chapter. Gosh, I, I giggled as I went and put on my regular clothes, my hair and the other normal stuff I do in the morning when I get ready. I decided I, I headed down the hallway until I reached the, the dining room again. Hey, yeah, everyone. I smiled as I reached the cupboards and reached some cookies to munch on. Why are you so cheerful? Have you forgotten the situation we're in? I heard... I heard Hina mumble as I turned to face her. Now this who's, is... Wait, who's part of the thing who's, is this? Who's reading this? I think, I think that's you. Yeah. Now this is just yep, how yep. I think about it. You don't have to, but it just makes you happier. Since you never know when you be killed here, it's best to live all your days with a smile and make every and make them memorable. I felt someone's hand on my shoulder. I looked up to see the pompadour cutie. Yeah, I agree with Phil Stavius. You guys should stop being so fucking down about this shit and live for what you've always been living for this whole time. I smiled and I saw the attitudes of everyone change like a light bulb being turned on. More general chatter was going on, so I decided to ask Mondo about what happened. Hey, Mondo, why did I s wake up with your overcoat covering me? I questioned him, holding holding it out to him. <laughs> well, you look cold and I didn't want to wake you, so I uh, used my overcoat. I got plenty more of them if you want, if you, to keep if you want one. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He looked away from me like a cindere would, which made me giggle slightly. I put the overcoat on, but it was far too big for me. My arms only made it about three quarters of the way through the sleeves, and the back of it was one millimeter from the floor. <laughs> Wait, is that me? Yeah. Wait, I think that's you. 
Oh, it might be. Yeah, I think don't. It's don't. You. Dare. Gave him the best death glares I could, but he bursted out laughing. <laughs> Mimi. I threw my lollipop at him and ran. I was quite an energetic person, so I ran pretty quickly. Mondo was was running after me, but he couldn't catch up until I accidentally tripped on the overcoat and landed on, <laughs> with a thud on the floor. I didn't really hurt anything, but I still groaned because I think I might have scraped my leg out some. I scraped my leg out something. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you gotta learn to be more careful, Phil Stavius. Are you gonna tell me as he picked me up? I can walk myself, you know. I folded my <laughs> arms and puffed at him as he carried me to my room. This is so... Moving so Gra fast. Gratty. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Need. More like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he put me down on the bed and told me to rest my leg for the rest of the day. Mondo and I stayed in my room, chatting, making jokes, eating candy, just the normal stuff. But before we knew it, the nighttime announcement had yet again gone off. You want to stay with me? Again, but <clears throat> do you want me? To, do you want me to stay with you again, Phil Stavius? Well, I don't need you to, but if you wanted to keep me safe, <laughs> then it might help. <laughs> Fine, but it's only because I want to protect you. He yelled as he got it onto the boy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. He yelled as he got onto the bed with me. He was a distance because he respected my personal space, but after a while I decided he was probably asleep. I snuggled up to him because he was really warm and I found my way back into dreamland. <sighs> Fucking Sim! She's, <laughs> she's in Kirby land. Whoa. This is so fast. <laughs> I know. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, writer, author Chan, don't you know what a slow burner is? You gotta make it interesting. You can't just have them like each other already. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, 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 sometimes you get in those situations and it, it, it seems like it seems like uh, she would. Maybe, maybe not Mondo. It's, it's kind of... It, it's a fun little story. I can tell that they, they probably just, I guess... Yeah, they're like, I like sweets, so, and I like mine, so they make You it. gotta remember, this is, this is from the perspective of someone who really, really seems to like Mondo, so... Yeah, I mean, the description even said that they would, yeah, if they it, ran it, them it, over, they'd thank him. Exactly, so, so maybe they're like, oh my god, I love them so much, let's, I, let's, let's just, just get on with the romance, just, just get on with it, with seven, seven full chapters. I mean, I'm like that too dancing. with like Sanji stuff, so I guess like I can't be mad. <laughs> can't be yeah. mad at this for too long. <laughs> I woke up just some time before the morning announcement went off because I thought I could smell something odd. I shook my head and decided to get up. I was still snuggling up to Mondo, which was hard trying to move without waking him up. I grabbed my clothes and went to the bathroom, so if he did wake up, he wouldn't see anything he shouldn't. When I finished in the bathroom, the announcement caught me by surprise as I came out. I jumped and let out a squeal. That was kinda cute, you know. I heard Mondo chuckle as he got out of bed. Don't be mean! I whined as I picked up <laughs> his clothes and gave it to him so we could change. <laughs> when he was ready, we left the room and headed down to the hallway. The smell from earlier was coming back, so I decided to ask Mondo if he thought anything was weird. Hey, uh, Mondo, can you smell anything? Nothing out of the ordinary. He replied, ruffling my hair. It must have been a. It must have just been my mind playing tricks on me, I guess. We arrived later than everyone else, which was pretty normal for us. We greeted everyone, but I still felt like something was off. I'm gonna go check it on Sayaka. We heard Ma Makoto mutter, "Something definitely wasn't right. She's always here before me." I'm going with you, I told him as I walked towards him. We went in the direction of the room where Makoto said Sayaka was in. We both walked in silence because we weren't exactly friends, so we didn't have much to talk about. When he opened the door, the first thing I heard was Makoto's tears scream tearing through my ears. What is it? 
I, I asked before looking in to see the horrible sight in front of me. I too screamed. Much louder than- Lot. Oh my god. We're finally getting lore! <laughs> <laughs> I screamed too. Much louder than Makoto did. I felt my body start shaking, the color drained from my body. It was a grim reminder we were trapped in a killing game. No one was trusted, and the worst had just begun. I felt everyone go- I felt everything go dizzy and her footsteps coming our way. My mind was spiraling around and around, and before I could say anything, I was out. I felt someone catch me as I fell in into the darkness. Time skipped to you and the hope boy <laughs> waking up from fainting. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like that. You and the hope I boy. <laughs> yep. Because who else is Makoto but the man of hope? Yeah. I groaned and rubbed my head as I slowly got up. I still had a throbbing pain flowing through me, but it wasn't a big concern to me after what just happened. Was that real? I stuttered as I grabbed onto Mondo's arm for support. Yeah. He mutters he looked down. If you don't feel comfortable around the body, we don't have to go near it. I felt him put another arm around me. Normally it would have made me blush like an idiot, but my mind's a complete mess right now. No, it's fine. We need to find whoever killed her, so, you know. I trailed off, not wanting to finish the sentence. He nodded and we began to walk over to where the rotting corpse of Saika was lying. <laughs> I took a deep breath in and began to investigate. Time skip! <laughs> but to where? Yeah, no one would be really funny before. I was like, alright, now it's time to end the investigation. It's like, time skip. I'm like, well, we found out that Leon did it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because we did not like him. Yeah. We didn't like him because he was ginger, and like, he happened to be correct. <laughs> he, he was the first character designed along with Sayaka, so kill him off first. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like people that are first. <laughs> <laughs> After what seemed like forever, we finished the investigation. I had a hunch who had already done it, but I wasn't- I couldn't be sure. I found a packet of Skittles in my pocket. I opened them and started- so we started eating them as we walked to the trial room. Manakuma had explained to us that about how to do the trial and things like that. The game really was sick. I wish I didn't have to be here. Why? It didn't really contribute much to the trial. I tried, but I tried, but whenever I said it was overlooked, everyone started suspecting me. I was going to explain to them that it that I wasn't, but Mondo did it before I could. He was just a sweetie. Sweeter than <laughs> bubblegum. I smiled at him and the trial continued. Time skip again. In the end, my suspicions was correct. The black and was Leon Kawada. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> After hearing that was pretty quick. Cool. Yeah. Man, these people do not like gingers. They do not. Yeah. They, so they took a shot in the dark. It's like, it's like nothing, nothing happened in the investigation. They just took a shot in the dark. Yeah, with this guy. Yeah. Toss him overboard. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah, oh, we have no idea. Oh, fuck it, we'll just pick, like, Leon. And then they're like, correct! <laughs> and they're like, oh! <laughs> like they did and we right. win! Yeah. <laughs> After hearing the full story, I kind of felt pity for him. But he still murdered someone. He's not exactly innocent. He was dragged In fact, off. he's guilty. Yeah, very guilty. <laughs> <laughs> he was dragged off by a train and was strapped to a post in front of us. My eyes were ready to witness what had <laughs> happened next. Baseballs were relentlessly beating him to death. I wanted to scream. I couldn't. My body froze. A bloody ball rolled over my direction and I could... And I had to use all my will not to throw up. When the trial had finished, I ran out of the trial room. I heard footsteps pounding behind me, but my body was moving on its own. I couldn't stop. I reached my room and slammed the door behind me and locked it, because I honestly just wanted to be by myself. I heard people outside my door, but I blocked out their voices and went into the bathroom so I can grab some tissues. I wiped my eyes, but I couldn't stop crying. Why did it have to end like this? Why? I collapsed on my bed and was out like a light. I didn't know how I managed to fall asleep on the spot after what I just witnessed, but I was lucky I did. I woke up with a scream from a nightmare I, I'd had of Mondo getting electrocuted to death. I mean, that's <laughs> what happens, right? Yeah, well, more or less, he turns into butter, but yeah. yeah. 
Well, he gets in a motorcycle, <laughs> spins in a cage super fast, and yeah. he does electrify, so he did get electrocuted. Yeah, I, I can see it happen. Yeah. I shot up and realized it was just a dream. I let out a sigh and looked at the clock. It was 2.24 a.m. I rolled over to the other side of the bed and tried to get some sleep. All I could do was see where the horrible image of Sayaka and Leon in my mind, but I couldn't. I picked up one of the candy plushies, like a plushy thing of a candy <laughs> shaped like a bow tie, like the one that I mean, wait, <laughs> it's shaped like a bow tie, like, like you get when I mean, okay, <laughs> and no I forget what he means. I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened my door. I found myself heading to Mondo's room. I knocked on his door and got no reply. Probably asleep. It's two. It's <laughs> two a.m. <laughs> I go to knock. I got nothing. I settled my breath and I opened his door. Did she just left this shit unlocked? Okay. <laughs> Since it was unlocked and I saw him in his bed, I heaved a, a sigh of relief. So I'm glad he was okay. I locked the door as quietly as I could and went over to him and snuggled up to him. Please protect me, I whispered to him. I will. Dude, who oh, leaves the door oh, locked oh, in the middle of a fucking I know game? who I know who does. I know who does. That guy, apparently. Someone who someone who likes a certain someone. <laughs> I I kinda change a literal tiny detail in the plot here, so don't mind me. Oh no, Wait. the plot! No. The plot's ruined! <laughs> when I woke up the next morning, I was puzzled when I didn't find Mondo beside me. But he was probably already awake and didn't want to interrupt my sleep. What a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> I giggled as I slipped out of his room and crept back into mine so I could put my morning clothes on. <coughs> when I was ready, I let out a small yawn and entered the dining hall. I scanned the room, but strangely, he wasn't in there. Where's Mondo? I asked as I reached the cupboard to get a snack. He, he went to the sauna. No, go ahead. <laughs> he went to the sauna with Ishimaru. He, Kyoko told me as she sipped her coffee. Oh, cool. I said, stuffing, my, stuffing the snacks in my mouth as I left. Not feeling like talking with anyone else. Mine was the other person I feel safe with, so I guess I'd just stay in my room for a while <laughs> since he's occupied. I sighed and flopped onto my, on my bed. I didn't mind him having other friends. But it did make me lonely not by having me around. Girl, get some other friends. I know you're in a killing game, but holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle of nothing, like I've been for the past hour when there was a knock at my door. I unlocked it and Makoto was there. Before I could ask what he wanted, he cut me off. Oh, we are. I kind of have a situation and uh, we need your help. <laughs> he awkwardly laughed, then I stepped out of my room. What exactly is the situation? Uh, you're, you're gonna want to see this. He trailed off, and I suppose I should follow him. So I did, and he led me to the sauna. I have literally no words to describe what was happening. Mondo and Ishimaru were both sat, fully dressed, inside the boiling <laughs> hot salon where they had been for the past two hours. <laughs> These verses were bright red, and it was kind of cute, but they do have a. But do they have a death wish? What are you idiots doing? I yelled as loud as I could, which wasn't entirely loud. We're having a dance battle! <laughs> but you can die! Please don't do this! We have to! They both screeched at me. I was worried sick. I didn't want Mana to die on me. I love him too much to let him. <gasps> she confessed! Holy sh- I'll, I'll cry if you don't come out! I whined as I pouted, turning my back to them. There's no going to be We'll be fine! Mimi, I muttered. I found a lollipop in my pocket and threw it at him. If, if you ever feel like giving up on Ishi to Ishimaru, remember I'll be angry if you lose. I yelled before running off. <laughs> so, you're such a girl! <laughs> <laughs> I heard him say something, but the only thing I can make out was the word cute, which made my face heat up. I, I looked- I shook the feeling inside of me out and reached my room. I didn't really do much for the rest of the day, but eating more candy and think. Well, mainly 
Well, mainly worrying about Mondo. I mean, how couldn't I? I mean, that sun is hotter than hell. <laughs> Before I knew it, the night, the nighttime announcement had went off. I laid down and closed my eyes, praying that he'd be all right. I luckily had left my door open. I heard a creak, so I pretended I was asleep, hoping that it would, this wouldn't be where I ended. I heard footsteps edging closer to me. I felt something soft pressed against my cheek. Thanks. As soon as he left, I jumped up and squealed as quietly as I could. But it was Mondo. I'm sure of it. And he's alive. <laughs> Are you sure? He was right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> my face was red, blushing mess. I put my hand on my cheek and fell back down to my bed with a smile plastered across my face. I fell asleep with ease as I realized my feelings I had were true. <laughs> the dream came to an end when the morning announcement boomed through my room. I woke up smiling from the past events, but he didn't know I was awake, so I guess I could just pretend nothing happened, because I didn't want to make things awkward between the, us and stuff. I went to the dining hall and ate some candy, as usual, and went over to Mondo so I could talk, but before I could, an announcement was made. Monokuma told us that we all had to go to the gym. We all made our way there, and it wasn't really a surprise what we were, what we were told. We apparently had a new motive, but I realize it's not the motive, but it's the fear of... But it's the fear that will make some people kill, and the thing is, the motive, it was the fear of almost everyone. We all had secrets. I have loads. But Monokuma threatening to tell everyone if no one gets killed? No one could possibly have a secret that bad, could they? I raveled the piece of paper and my secrets uh, scripted on it. It read, At I home. I was, about, I, was oh. about to, no. I was about to do a funny. I, I can read it. Okay. Lights turned off. Flashlight turns on. At home, Phil Stavis is abused by all her family. It wasn't that bad of a seat. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I feel like this is a self-insert piece that the writer was making about themselves. Mm. Could be. Just, just revealing. It wouldn't make me kill. Yeah, I never told anyone about it, what goes on in my house. But it's because no one should un would understand me. They try to get involved, and I don't want anyone close to me getting hurt by them. Anyway, i kind of grown accustomed to what my family do to me. Pain begins to disappear after a while. That's sad. That is very... Yeah, that's very sad, girl. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do they give her such a stupid name? <laughs> <laughs> Feel savious, no. <laughs> yeah, get, get used to it. Get used to it. It's not stopping. Yeah. I sat <laughs> the paper up and stuffed it in my pocket. I looked around the room and saw that Mondo was literally shaking. I made my way over to him and grabbed both of his hands. I promise you, Mondo, it'll be alright. You don't need to be scared. No one will find out whatever it is. Don't, don't let it get to you. I have a pretty bad one myself, but I won't let my problems drive me to murder. And if you do, I'll be disappointed beyond words. I glared at him. Without warning, I was pulled into a, a tough hug. I won't kill anyone. Don't worry. You better not. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 5! Uh -oh. He murdered someone! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry I didn't... Up Sorry I didn't update yesterday or the day before that. It was at the doctor, Colin B. How dare you be at your doctor's appointment instead of updating this book? <laughs> that I've been wanting to read so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I pushed myself away from him and muttered a bye as I walked off to my room. But what I didn't notice is what had fallen out of my pocket on the way. Oh no! Everyone's gonna uh -oh. know that we were abused! <laughs> uh oh. Damn, we're not even gonna be driven by murder, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I sighed as I munched on a bunch of M&Ms. I was worried, but I, but it wasn't about myself. It was about him. I probably wouldn't have left him. I probably shouldn't have left him, but I was thinking he needed to have some time to collect his thoughts. I wouldn't be much help with him anyway. I mean, he seems to have a pretty bad secret by the looks of it. I just hope it doesn't drive him to kill. If not, then I wouldn't trust him. I heard a knock at the door, which distracted my thoughts. 
I didn't realize how much time had passed as I skipped over to the door and swung it open. Hey, Mondo! I, I cheerfully greeted and moved out of his way so he could enter my room. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's you, I think it's you. Or is it, um... No, no, it's me, it's me, it's me. <laughs> I, I, I read the rest of the line. That's amazing. Hey, um... Can I stay here again? You know, I kind of turned down Chihiro and said I had someone else to see, so it'd be pretty fucking helpful. I smiled at him and grabbed his hand, pulling him onto <laughs> my my bed. So, wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> I, I guess so he wait. turned down Chihiro's request to uh, help, uh, help him with his goal. Oh, I thought, like, Chihiro asked him out and he said no, and then he was like, oh shit, this girl might fucking murder it, me. <laughs> it, 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 it might, I guess. So he said he had someone else to see. Yeah. So it might have been about doing an activity. Yeah, I have fucking no clue. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> I just work here. Yeah. Of course you can. I giggled at the surprise, of, the surprise expression on his face. You're so cute. I saw his face turn red, which was adorable too. <laughs> After many hours of chatting and snacking on candy scattered around my room, the nighttime announcement went off. I was pretty sleepy, so I drifted off quicker than I than I realized then. Who am I guessing? Mondo's arms. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up because someone was frankly shaking me. I slept right through the morning in, uh, at announcements and was confused. <laughs> what? I sleepily drowned out my bed and grabbed my clothes. The body announcement went off. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I yelled, changing as quick as humanly possible and dashing out with Mondo at my side. We reached the crime scene. The victim, this time, was Shihiro! <laughs> and I cry. No! <laughs> <laughs> Who could have possibly murdered her? There's, oh, no. I can't. I, I sure hope. I sure hope that they're brought to justice. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Whoever did this is gonna get fucked up. <laughs> We're all trying to find who did this. We're all trying to find who did this. Yeah. She was pretty nice, and I only had a few conversations with her. But I felt like if she, she lived longer, we'd probably be friends. I felt wet tears flood down my face. Why? I kept asking myself, even though I knew the answer. I wiped my tears and sniffled, not to Mondo to signal what we should start the investigation. Mondo seemed to find something, but he seemed saddened? On top of that, he didn't even tell me what it was. It made me suspicious, but I shook everything off and we continued. Time to get because I'm too lazy to write anything trial in my stories. That explains a lot. Yeah. Surprisingly, Ishimaru was the murderer? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't like this anymore. He would never. My sweet boy would never. <laughs> he would never kill. Yeah. He was the ultimate rule follower. How could he? Yeah. SMH right now. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Didn't expect someone so content on rules like him to result in killing someone. But even more surprising, Chihiro wasn't actually a she. I mean, there was nothing wrong with that being strong in appearance. It's just that it's all about being strong in the heart. Anyone who would have judged him was just stupid. I snod. He would have... I wish he... Wait, I don't know why I said it. I don't even know why I read that. <laughs> I wish he'd been alive so I could tell, so he could tell us in person. I would have definitely hugged him. Mondo was quite close to Ishimaru after the whole sauna and thing. He was trying to stay strong, but I could see that he was mortified about what had gone on. He yelled for Monokuma to wait, but he didn't, and the punishment began. When I saw Mondo crying, my heart shattered like glass. <laughs> it hurt me just to see him in such a sad- Oh my god, is this gonna be the reversing- Oh my god, does that mean Mondo's gonna get fucking killed? <laughs> uh... I'm not sure. Cause I Ishimaru is supposed to get killed in the third chapter. Yeah, he is. Oh no. Oh my no! <laughs> Ruh -roh. That's it, we're ending it right here. <laughs> <laughs> It hurt me just to see him in a sad state. When it had finished, I walked over and placed a hand on his shoulder. We don't- they're not gonna write in like a- like a weird way that he dies, even though there's no, like, canon- No, I, 
I don't know. It would be pretty. It would be pretty cool to see what his uh, punishment would be, though. Yeah. Oh, I think so. They wrote it like they had like planned executions for yeah. some of them, which they kept a few. <laughs> I think if Ishimaru did kill someone, didn't get away with it, I think his would have been like he was. I think it would have been in, like a JFK assassination. <laughs> Where he's like in a parade and then he's forced to stand there and wave and then a Monokuma shoots him in the heart. Damn. Yeah, someone like they someone found the script of like that like like a unused execution I, for each I know. And then I know what I'm looking up after this. I know what I'm looking up after this. Yeah, someone <laughs> animated it and everything, so it's on YouTube somewhere. Okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna have to see it for everyone though. That, that's cool. I didn't know. Sorry, I whispered to him, as sincere as I could. He jilted my hand off and walked away, his eyes red and his face stained. He went, presumably, back to his room. I knew he needed to be alone, so after the trial, I too went back to mine. I felt lonely without him in there with me, but I couldn't do anything about it. I sighed and hugged my plushies to sleep. When I woke up, it was about 20 minutes before the morning announcements would normally go off. I then remembered what happened yesterday. I didn't expect him to come out of his room much today, so I decided to give him something that would cheer me up in a situation like this. <laughs> it was obviously candy. <laughs> yeah. With me being the ultimate sweet tooth and all, but if it makes his lips form this a slight resemblance of a smile, I'll be happy. I found a cherry lollipop from my drawer and a mini pack of bun buns. I wrote him a note saying, I know you're upset about what happened, but I want you to know you're not alone. You'll, I'll be here when you're ready to open up. Yeah. Phil Stavius. <laughs> <laughs> I drew a heart next to my name and kissed the paper softly. G gay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked over to his room. He didn't unlock the door, so I slipped it in without making a noise. He was awake and was facing the other way from me, so he didn't see. I placed the note along with the sweets on the desk, which was near to me. Wait, she, did she just open the door? Oh yeah, he didn't lock the door, so I guess... <laughs> he never he never locked the door. Yeah. He, he, he lets his nuts hang. <laughs> As I thought Mondo wouldn't leave his room a, a single time today, I was worried about him. But if I was in his situation, I'd probably do the same. However, he didn't come out the next day, or the day after that. Not even after I told him about Chihiro's AI. I was, so, I was so worried about him that I couldn't even eat anything. I still put candy in his room, and he seemed to eat it. Next morning, I got pissed that he hasn't come out by brec- By brec- uh, Wait, he hasn't come out by breakfast, okay. I slammed the fist on the table, stood up, and stomped down the hallway. His door was open, and I didn't- And I had so much anger inside of me that I couldn't help but kick it down. Someone's feeling the separation anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is this is straight up. <laughs> uh, I thought of what he would say to me if I was in his mood, but this is the best I can come up with. Oi, <laughs> you fucking sad excuse of a man! Get out of your room and do Yusumaru justice. He wouldn't want you to be stuck in your room like this, and I missed you like crazy. So drag your ass over here and stop sulking. I turned my back to him because I was mainly embarrassed. Damn. Hey, this is what happened to Ishmaru, basically, right? Yeah, well, I think he got out of his slump after <laughs> seeing the Chihiro guy, yeah. and he was like, oh, Yeah, I must, I must carry his legacy on. Yeah, because oh. yeah, the Chihiro AI was like, hold on one second, and turned into Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was, I'd been too harsh on him. I was about to apologize, but I felt his arms wrap around my body. You got a lot of fucking nerve saying that to me. <laughs> Glad to have you back! I smiled and grabbed his hand, pulling him into a, the dining hall so everyone could see that he was actually alive again. Guys, I did it! I I was cut off by some something being placed in my mouth. I glanced down and saw a big pile of... of I saw a pale lollipop stick. I glanced back at Mondo, who saw and saw him with a wrapper in his hand. I blushed a bit and sucked on the lollipop. Let's see... <clears throat> Jeez, shut up already. They can't see me, you know. I giggled as he patted my head gently. <laughs> and sorry, talk. 
Rip Taka. We will never forget. Yeah. Yeah, I'm allowed to do this since I'm the author, Chan. But go request stuff on one of my on my one shot book. Thanks and and everyone reading this, subscribe to Pewds. When was this written? A while. It's gotta be like it's gotta be 2018. Yeah, it has to be when like the whole <laughs> T series and PewDiePie thing was going on. Yep, 2019. Yeah. Yep. It, 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 this this is. Around the time when I was like really into the series, so that's pretty pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does this mean that someone's gonna get murdered? Uh, Damn it! Oh, not another murder in the murder show, or game, or whatever manga. Yeah. <laughs> After finally letting Mondo leave his room, I decided I wasn't gonna let him out of my sight today. I mean, I wouldn't normally, but still. I decided to take him to the library. He's the leader of a gang, uh, a biker gang, so I didn't really imagine him as the reading type. I'm not one to talk though, I only read to relieve stress. So I'm going to try to that tactic with him. Why of all places do you take me to a fucking library? <laughs> he's cute when he's confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you haven't been well okay for the past few days, so I wanted to take you somewhere where you could, you know, take your mind off things. I giggled and ran over to one of the shelves to find something... something. Well, more like anything, which sparked my interest. I saw a book titled, Sugar Addiction. You know the song? <laughs> you know the song. <laughs> I don't know what the... That, I kind of want to look it up after this. <laughs> I've got you. You can keep reading. And of my talent and all, I was sold. I carried the book over to where Mondo was and sat and I perched down next to him. Sorry, Sawada. So, like, uh... I'm gonna guess a Vocaloid. Oh. Uh, that's, that's my shot in the dark. Let's see. Did you have to get the girliest book possible? He groaned, picking it up. Yeah, it was very pink, and it had lots of hearts around it, and it was covered in a layer of fluff. <laughs> but as they say, don't show a book by its cover. Yep. After about two hours, we were finished with it. I actually enjoyed it. It was about a girl who who had a sick obsession over a boy, which eventually drove her to suicide. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, I wonder if that's uh, how this story will end. Please don't. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Definitely. Definitely not. Oh no. It really, it really fitted. 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 Oh no. What the fuck? No. <laughs> It really fit the title, and I thought it was interesting. You're okay after reading that? Oh wait, shit, that's you. Sorry! <laughs> you okay after reading that? I heard him ask me. Not so loudly. Of course I am, silly. It's not real, so I, I sh shouldn't be scared. Anyways, why were you worried about me? Oh, anyway, why were you worried about me? I smirked at him, poking his cheek while we sat down and I could reach. Because I care about you. I felt my face heat up. I didn't even notice that he yelled at me until he pointed it out. <laughs> Sorry, I, I yell when I get nervous. I curved my mouth to stop myself from laughing. That's so cute! Shit, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that out loud. God, I'm stupid. What did you say? Uh, uh, I, uh, I stepped away from him, mainly because I thought he was going to kill me. But also because I didn't want him to see my blushing face. <laughs> I took a deep breath and bolted away for my life depended on it. <laughs> He's not gonna murder you! <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't hope so. I hope not. <laughs> hey, it could happen to anyone. Even Ishimaru's a killer now. Yeah. It did if I was gonna be honest. I was sure I pushed Makoto over on my way because I wasn't looking where I was going. But I couldn't exactly stop because I could hear him behind me. I was getting very out of breath and my legs felt like they were going to give up any minute. But I had to keep on going. My room was just up ahead. I was so close. I tried to stop and unlock my door because I always lock it so no one steals my stuff. But suddenly I was pressed against a wall. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, I slammed my, my eyes shut and tried to calm my calm down my, my blush down. 
in your eyes. His tone sounded softer, and it didn't seem like he was angry in the slightest. I slowly did, and he said, as he said, and I didn't look directly at him because the position we were in was quite <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> I wasn't going to plan on telling you this yet, but... I feel like I've heard him say those words to me before. It's not the f time for nostalgia right now. What is it? I felt his grip on my, my wrists harden. Eighth. He was stuttering? He <laughs> must be flustered. That's even cuter. <laughs> <laughs> I flashed a smile at him to try to calm him down, and I waited to hear the news he wanted to tell me. I had an idea about what it, he wanted to say, but I didn't think it could be real. I like you. He yelled at me. Both of our faces instantly turned bright red, and I tried to get my brain to unfry itself. <laughs> Without being able to think about the consequences of my actions, I got on my tippy toes, the highest I could possibly go up, and gently placed my lips onto his. I I surprised I'm surprised I actually managed to reach reach but more surprised that he kissed back. It was a short kiss, but mostly because I was out of energy from running and I didn't have an, enough breath to kiss for longer. Heh, <laughs> you should have told me sooner, cutie. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it like that, but <laughs> It's so real though, it's so real. Yeah. Since we were here next to my room, he and he let go. I quickly jumped into my room and slid against the door. Hey, hey, you can't just leave after that. Get your ass back here now! I heard him bang his fist against the door and it blurred out laughing. <laughs> Make me! <laughs> God, we're dead. <laughs> we're so dead. Yeah. Eventually he gave up and left. I put my knees close to my face and hugged myself. I couldn't believe I just did that! My chest feels so tingly, like it could explode at any moment. How could I fall in love with someone in such a short time? I'm hopeless. Wonder who this reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> I spent the rest of the day bumbled up in my room trying to get a hold of myself. I ate plenty of sweets. Yeah, I knew I choked, but they're in a but well, we're in a killing game. I'm not gonna <laughs> let me be my own killer. Uh, that goes hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Sakura, no! <laughs> oh no. When the nighttime announcement went off, I decided to go to Mondo's room so we could snuggle. I mean, we're technically a couple now, right? I think that's how relationships work anyway. I knew he left his door open, so I just let myself in. I take my time to get there because I needed to get changed and stuff. By the time I got there, he was already in bed. I knew he was awake because he flinched a bit when I, when I opened the door. I, I didn't both to try to be quiet. I ran over and jumped on top of him. You, you could at least try to be gentle, you know. Heh, <laughs> sorry, cutie. Shut up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Well, we're on the first, last chapter! Foreshadowing? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> uh, a comment. Foreshadowing? Question mark, question mark, question mark. It could be. Yay, I finally updated this again. Slash. Final chapter. Final ch yeah, final chapter. Holy shit. I woke up when I can hear ruffling noises near the door. I unlashed Mendo's arms from around my body and I slowly crept towards it. Luckily, no one was there, but there was a note on the floor. I curiously picked it up and saw what it said. Mimi? Please meet me. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Please meet me in the dining hall. An hour after you read this, both of you. Oh. What the fuck? Uh oh. That sounded really suspicious. I gulped and tugged Mondo's shirt to wake him up. What do you want? Had a bad dream or something? He scratched the back of his neck and I showed him the note. After he finished reading it, he took it from my hands and crumbled it up. Don't worry. I won't let it whoever it is hurt you. Tightly pulled me into his chest and I buried my face in it, hugging it back. After an hour had passed, it was 3.30 a.m. We were both waiting inside the dining hall. Whoa, did, again? Okay, they actually went. <laughs> we were inside the dining hall when I heard someone behind me. I turned around and saw a smirking Celestia. I asked if she wrote the note, but she just stood there, not responding. 
I was about to walk up to her and ask if she was alright when I heard him scream. Those areas get out of the wet! Before I had time to react, I could feel a sharp pain running through my body. As I let out a high, high pitch as I saw Kafumi's body cast a shadow against me as I fell limp on the floor. I saw a trail of blood fall down my face and a tear rolling down my face. Rotten Mondo, you need to live for me! <laughs> I smiled as everything went white and I embraced death with open arms. Hey, let's go. Guys, I think she's waking up. Don't crowd around her, you'll fluster her. Her eyes are opening. The voices flooded through my ears. What? Didn't I die? Was I in heaven? I, s I slowly flutter my eyes open and, and trying to recollect what had happened. I saw all the people who who'd I seen die, right in front of me, alive. No feathery white wings attached. I tilted my head and dug into my pocket so I can find some candy. Ah, he must be confused. Very. <laughs> <laughs> so I could giggle as I unwrapped one of the lollipops and popped it in my mouth, occasionally nodding what she said. I basically understood. We were all in some sort of simulation of a killing game for a TV show called Total. What? <laughs> wait, so oh, wait, so wait, wait, no. wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. They just took the plot from V3 and threw it in this. Okay. So, yeah. So after you die in the simulation, you just get put in a white void. Beautiful. <laughs> you might have spoiled V3 for me a oh, little. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. It'll be. It'll be another. Uh, Five years till I play it. Okay. <laughs> Another five years? Yeah. Damn. I'm kind of retarded. Yeah. <laughs> Called Day and Rapa, and everyone was perfectly fine, and no one died in the real world. Everyone would be staying in the building until everyone was awake, so they didn't miss anything. I was so happy, knowing that I'd get to see him again. Yeah, I was happy to see that everyone else was alive, but Mondo seems... Mondo means everything to me. I'm so thankful that life's giving me another chance. I looked at him and saw I wasn't wearing his overcoat anymore since we were in a real world and I frowned. Hopped out of the hospital bed I was in and, bef and I walked over to saw Mondo lying. He was so precious when he was sleeping. Bilstavius, hey. get back here! You're supposed to be resting! Yeah, I, I heard Ishimaru yell at me but I didn't listen to him. I hoisted his, hoisted his body up and gently removed his overcoat. I mean, he probably has spares, right? He wouldn't mind me <laughs> borrowing this. I draped it around myself. It was so warm. I quickly hugged him and I went over to my bed. It looked really plain, so I roughed up. I, I rummaged around my pockets, and em emptying them all ov over the ground. Wait, all over the bed until the bed was practically covered in a mountain of candy. <laughs> what are you doing? Leon laughed nervously as I sternly glared at him. Get in current roll, and if you don't like it, you can fuck off. I rolled over to my side and drifted off to a deep, sweet sleep. I don't know what do you mean? <laughs> it had been a few months since I woke up, and a few more people had already joined us. We merely... And we... And we'd formed pretty good bonds together. Me and Sayaka were pretty close. She even told me about her massive crush on Leon, which I always hinted at when I talked to him. The final trial had passed and I was overflowing with emotions. I was so proud of him for getting there on his own. I couldn't wait for him to wake up. Mondo made it to the final? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't, I, without Shihiro, you probably would have. <laughs> yeah, what the, f uh, what the fuck? If, if, if he hadn't killed Shihiro, he probably would have, yeah, honestly. Yeah. It takes people about three to four days to wake up from the simulation and they went and they went by in a breeze. I had a feeling that he was going to wake up today, so I restyled my hair to put on my prettiest outfit, with the overcoat of course, and I was about to eat some candy when I heard Sayaka yell, You're waking up, Vostavius. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I gasped and ran quickly as humanly possible to the... I almost said the hotel room. <laughs> the hospital room! <laughs> I Might as well be. Yeah. I <laughs> stood up on the, on the foot of his bed and I watched him slowly... I watched him open his captivating eyes. Hey! I explained, smiling at him as he bashfully lunged at me. 
It caught me by surprise as I chuckled and stroked his hair. This isn't a dream, is it? Of course it isn't, silly. Yay, we read it! <laughs> End. Congratulations, Evangelion GIF. Yeah. Now time to check out what Tokyo Pianist. Moving accounts, wow. Do they have- oh yeah, they have one-shots. Maybe we can read more from them in the future, who knows. Intriguing, intriguing. Yeah, this, this is a good read. I, I kinda like it, it, this. It, it was it was pretty fun, honestly. It was pretty fun. I I, I kind of liked the other one, I guess, a little bit more. If I had to really rank, uh, uh fucking fan fiction, but I mean, they're they're both pretty fun. Yeah. There, there was a little bit more going on in the other one. This this one was just kind of straight up, you know. They're in the let's, game. let's get let's get the let's get the romance. Let's get the romance. Get the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more involved with the game. It was was less. Uh, Plus fantasy driven. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice. Maybe the other person that did the Biakia one has other fan fictions we could read. That could be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's that's a later time for another video. <laughs> it was it was it was fun though. It was very fun. Yeah, very, very fun. So I guess if you guys would like to read this book and share it with your friends, I'll have a link down below in the description. Um Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, see, you. Uh, see you next time yeah. on uh, the the Wattpad book club. Yep, <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> bye -bye. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs>